in this video we are going to discuss about ethernet framing so what is an ethernet framing so when the data link layer receives a packet from the network access layer or network layer for transmission it has to encapsulate the packet into frames that means it has to encapsulate all the packets and form a frame here so the framing used by ethernet has changed it form over the times of years so here the framing used by ethernet has changed from one phase to other phase over the time frame and when the ieee took over the ethernet in the early 1980s so it defined a new frame structure here so what is a frame structure and what does it contains you can see here the frame structure contains field length in bytes and description about the fields here so what is permeable permeable is in length is 7 in bytes and here it used to synchronize and tells the received device whether the header starts and from where the introduction starts of the frame and also sfd start frame delimiter tells the receiving device that the next byte is the destination address so it will inform the uh, receiving device about the next byte in the destination address so what is destination address it identifies the intended destination of the frame so it identifies the destination place of the frame and it will pass it on to source address source address identifies the source of the frame so from where the frame originated that source information will be available in the source address coming to length contains the length of the data field of the frame and this field can either be length or type but not both so it can be of the type of the data or it can be of the length of the data but can't be both coming to type identifies the network layer protocol whose data is contained in the frame so it identifies the network layer protocol whose data is available in the frame this field can either be length or type but not both so here also it can be of the type or the length but not both so coming to data data in the sense the length would be 46 to 1500 bytes the network layer data so it will it will be having the details of the network layer data and what are the protocols or the functions used in the network layer data so what is F fcs stores the crc value which is used to check for errors in transmission so this F this fcs will be will be very useful here because it checks for the transmission errors while transferring the frame so this is the structure of the framing uh, which is given by ieee and coming to the type of field is very important because it tells the receiving device about the protocol whose data the frame is contained that means if you can take a network layer will be having some protocols and the network layer protocols having will be having some functions so this type of field is very important because it will tell the receiving device about the protocols used in it and also from where the protocols contained in the frame also is available here so coming to ieee 802 dot logical link control header and also apart from this one header you can see 802 dot 3 header apart from this header they will be containing other two headers which are ieee 802 dot logical link control header and 80 and ieee subnet access protocol which is snap header so you can see here so here after the permeable sfd distance added source added destination length everything is 802.3 header apart from this there are two other headers which is llc header other one is snap header so based on this headers the frames are transferred through the network and get encapsulated into packets in the data link layer